welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves going up against the New York Mets. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Singy, it might be a launch angle home run heavy sport these days, but we've got one of the very best bat to ball contact hitters feature right here today. Boog, I love the fact that he never gets too big with this swing and flies open, tries to launch the ball. He stays very compact. He's looking at getting the barrel to the baseball, doesn't care which part of the ballpark that he hits it to. And I don't care if it's a lefty or a righty out there on the mound. He looks extremely comfortable from either side. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Jose Quintana. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. Maybe and I think a guy like that can keep a good right tempo, don't 13. give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one foul back our way and that's out of play the why to kick the pitch hey. well we call that key holy even though it's right there and looks pretty good if he doesn't love it he's not going to swing that early in the count gets a piece and it stays 0 2 he's a bad ball hitter so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone he still might beat you not an easy out by any means. Pulled the string of the changeup. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. One down, base is empty. Ball, that's outside. Yeah. Inside corner for a strike. And the count, one, ball, one and two. two Just the misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. The wind of the pitch. Nimmo. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. Here's Austin Riley. There's a strike. Riley, 27 years old, a former first round pick back in 2015. Two out spaces empty. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And that's downstairs and outside. Two balls, two strikes. Get out of here, Struck him out. He says, I don't care about draft rounds. Take a seat. And the Braves go down quietly. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. here at City Field and on the hill Max Free and singing we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure 
he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Where Most guys, the they get a little tight. They start to the aim the baseball. baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Swing and a foul straight back. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And a good eye there. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The 1-2. Stays alive. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. One gone, bottom half of the first. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Here's Starling Marche. And that one hit to first. He steps on the bag. And a couple of quick outs. And let's take a look at the lineup. And an important bat for them, batting fifth in this one. J.D. Martinez. Well, he's an important part of this lineup for sure. I mean, there's no doubt about it, Boog. It's somebody that they try to feed off of. He does a lot of things, you know, very well up there at the plate. He's got a presence about him, and, you know, he's a guy that you really kind of like to watch swing the bat. Francisco Lindor, the next to hit, takes outside. Two outs. That's ball two. Two and oh. And Three that balls. skips in the dirt. No and a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And that's nope. ball four. Ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Now it's DJ Stewart. Free. Checks over to first, and he's back. Here goes the runner. Pitch is high. Throw to second, great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one, so that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. Man on second, two down. Oh, that's off the plate, ball two. That that's one misses, three. and that's ball three. J.D. Martinez, the kind of bat that can make a big impact if they can keep it going here. That one's in there, and it's three and one. Lindor stands at second with two gone. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Nothing for the Mets in the first. Second inning coming up from City Field. Nothing, nothing here on the show. New inning getting started, and now Matt Olson up to hit. Matt. Olsen coming off an amazing 2023 campaign. Prodigious power numbers, and he cut his strikeout rate. As the lefty gets to work. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Martinez has a beat on it. One up, one down.
Here's Marcelo Zuna. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The old one. And yeah, there's a ball. Aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a pitcher out there coming at you with high velocity. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. That misses, and the count is even, two and two. One out, base is empty. Next pitch is outside. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And now two gone. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. Orlando Arcia stands in here, takes ball one low. On the ground, right foul. side, and foul ball. Second inning here, no score. That one the other way, McNeil. The throw to first, that's the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Bottom of the inning, and here's the veteran outfielder, J.D. Martinez. J.D. Martinez. The lefty fires. And a foul ball. We talk so much about how starting pitchers prepare for their starts. I talked with Max Freed, and one of the things he told me back in 19, he and Lucas Giolito started using MLB The Show to go over scouting reports. Oh. And Martinez is out. That is good. The third baseman, Brett Beatty. Brett Beatty up now for the Mets. Max said he's not sure who actually started at first, but it was 2019, and he and Giolito, who were teammates together in high school in Los Angeles, they had the idea to become more familiar with the opposing lineup using MLB The Show. Tosses across the first. There to beat him by an eyelash. Well, oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Here's Joey Wendell. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. That misses the zone. Ball one. Right through there for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. Two outs. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a 1-2 again. Ball. Bows it back with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And that is the third out of the inning. We'll move to the third with no score.
Well, here we go. Moving Top of the, the third scoreless the game. Field, now in for the Braves. Michael, Michael Harris. Harris. Quintana back to work. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. The 0-2. And he handles it himself for the out. Batting it. The left fielder, Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall at the plate. Close, but called a ball. And it's one to know. Ground ball right side, that and that's foul. just foul. One down, base is empty. That's a ball. And now the lefty. That one fouled off. Top of the third, no score. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And that just misses. Well, as a pitcher, when you make a big pitch down around the knees and don't get the call, it'll lead at you out there. So some handle it a little bit better than others. And right here, clearly letting the hump hear it a little bit. And here's a 3-2. Got him swinging. And that quickly, two away. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Here's the catcher to hit, Chadwick Trump. Misses outside. And that's ball one. That one catches the corner for a strike. On the ground right side and it goes just foul. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field and makes the grab. And that is that. Nine straight retired here to start the game. No score. Back here in Queens. And now here's Jeff McNeil. The second base Chris, man. baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And a pitch. That's in there. Going one. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. This one high in the air to left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Tomas Nito with the plate. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Just off the outside edge. And that is ball one. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is 
going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Liner, base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. in the center field base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couple of singles back to back. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early. Squared it up with the well-timed swing and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 0 1. That one is upstairs. Nimmo, the lead runner at second. Marte on at first with two down. Four. Two balls, two strikes. At the belt and fires. And that's Three, in the dirt. DJ Stewart waiting for a turn at the plate. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. And now DJ Stewart went down on strikes his first time through. And that one fouled off. Bounce to the left side. Arcia. They get the force out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. They leave them loaded. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Ronald Acuna Jr. pitch just oh, missed break. next All one through. misses and now 2-0 two two no strike just no missed it's a leadoff walk 
And that's the go-ahead run. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. Grounded out his first time. That's in there. Strike one. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. Kicks and deals. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. And next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Struck out looking in his first at bat. To first, and he breaks for second. To second, and he's out. Right through there for a strike. The Braves yet to pick up a hit here. That's a base hit, and that extends the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Olsen batting for the second time, and that's strike one. And there's the strike. Two outs. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Left hand batter waits. Struck him out looking. So one hit is all they get. On now to the bottom of the fourth. No score. And we're back. Now it's J.D. Martinez. No left field. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. That's a little bit low. Ground ball right side. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Bryce Elder. He's been so good against lefties. So digging in, Brett Beatty. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. 
Beatty. Breaking ball, ball inside. Ball one. Right-handed reliever. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Drifts towards it. Nabs it. And there's two away. Now that the designated hitter, Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell up now for the Mets. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Ball All one, no side. strikes. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We played four. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Back here in Queens, ready now for the fifth inning. Stepping in the long ball threat, Marcelo Zuna. The pitch. That one to first, and that's just foul. The pitch. One and one. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. And here it comes. He goes down looking. So I can't argue with that one. And clearly he was looking for something else. Anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it. And kind of a gift at a two-strike count. But sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Arcia in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Off the mark there. Now 2-0. Oh. No and the pitch. Hammers that one. Deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. Third home run of the season. The Braves score first. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. So, Singy, this is a little bit of a surprise. A guy known for line drives hits one over the fence. Well, if you're a little too early, you'll get some elevation in the ball, get out of the ballpark. For him, it's kind of a mistake. But you know what? When you have such a good approach, every now and then you're going to run into one. Harris one. takes low second trip to the plate in this one. One out, base is empty, and a run in, and we're at the top of the fifth. Next offering upstairs. He swings and fouls one off. Fights it off, he'll see another. One down, base is empty. 
McNeil tosses got the it. first got the out up next for Atlanta the left fielder Adam Duvall two outs base is empty so now to the plate for Atlanta Adam Duvall 0 for 1 he struck out swinging last time Gets the outside corner with that one. Next offering is in for a strike. That one just misses. And a pitch. Hey. Got him looking. That's out number three. Atlanta draws first blood with a solo shot. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at City Field, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Elder back to work. Fought off foul. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Only two now. One ball, two strikes. And the right hander deals. And Inside, another ball. ball Righty delivers. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. The 2 2. And just misses with that one. Tomas Nito up next. Swung on. Broken back grounder to third. And it's just foul. That was close. Come back her to the mound. In plenty of time to first. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. The catcher. Come on. Here's the catcher, Tomas Nito. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Nope. And the righty deals. Foul ball there. Home team down a run. Last half of inning number five. The ball. That one finds the zone. It's two and two. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Drifts towards it. He makes the catch, and there's two down. The first baseman, number nine, Brandon. So up next for New York, Brandon Nimmo. One for two. And that's in there for strike one. Right through there for a strike. Oh. 
Up the middle, Arcia. Now the throw to first on the run. And the Mets go 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Mets. And it remains 1-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the Atlanta catcher, Chadwick Trunk. The why to kick the pitch. And that's in for a strike. The 0 2. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And yeah, that's outside. Yeah, the count 1 and 2. Well struck left field. And it hits the fence. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. He makes it safely with a leadoff double in the sixth. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. He's 0 for 1. First nope, pitch doesn't ball. find the zone. Man, it's second. And a strike in there. And he deals. And a foul ball. The one two. two, two yeah. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pitch. That one off the mark, and the count's full. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Out towards left center. Martinez moves towards it. He's got it. And there's one away. The batter number one. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. A switch hitter batting right. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver in no spots. And ball one. Well, I think it's the ability to assess the situation, understanding what the pitcher has, what he's trying to get people out on, and then being able to use the entire field. The 1-1. One -one. Hit in the air, right field. Marte moves under it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's two away. Austin Riley next up for the Braves outfield playing very deep not wanting anything over their heads intentional walk here with two out 
They set up a force at any base to end the inning. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand going with the intentional walk in that spot. He's just too dangerous at the plate right now, and there's a base open, so it gives you options defensively to get an out. Sizzling on its way to the outfield. The throw is wild and it gets away. And that keeps the inning alive. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. Two outs. Base is full. Here's a big power threat. Marcelo Zuna. This guy with light tower power. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Hey. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Field two. Just missed. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Two outs. Adam looking. Huge strikeout there. Huge opportunity missed there. 2 3 4 due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Braves one and the Mets nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Starling Marte up to hit. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. That one catches the zone, and that's strike one. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Ronaldo Lopez getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Jimenez getting loose as well. Here comes the 1. Late that time, and it's strike two. No ball, two strikes. Swings and misses, struck him out. Throw to first, in time to get him, one away in the strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's Francisco Lindor. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. And that's inside off the inside edge. Ball one. That clips the corner. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. The pitch. That's outside. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there are some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And downstairs. Payoff pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Harris sizing this one up. Drops into the glove. Two down. Now that the center field. So now it's the four hole hitter, DJ Stewart. And that is in for a strike. 
one one. Way inside. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. To third, Riley. Slings it across, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. They trail here, one nothing. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Sean Manaya. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Well, one-run game. Here's Orlando Arcia. He's already homered here in this one. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. All one's the count. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Well. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Adam Adovino, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Deakman also getting ready. In the air out to center. It gets down a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The battle. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the barrel to it. Just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. So up next, Adam Duvall, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Counts one and oh. And now the lefty. And fouled off. First and second, no outs. Here in the top half of inning number seven. On the ground could be two McNeil and that is a big first out. That right there was a productive at bat. You know you're doing something right anytime you help move two runners into scoring position and give your team a chance to drive in a couple of runs. Now in for the Braves, Chadwick Trump. Golden opportunity right here. You have to stay disciplined in these at bats. Try not to chase. A strikeout here is the last thing you want. I think ultimately you want to tie him up get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield one one. not even close there one and one is the fastball up the ladder struck him out big strikeout right there and that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit infield was in so now they can move back give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play a lot more ways to work out of this and strand that runner at third now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the play outfield deep here trying to prevent anything over their heads makes the catch inning over Two left for Atlanta, but they still lead it one nothing. We're 
we're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh Joe Jimenez well the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game some of them are just wired different so we'll see what he's got here here's J.D. Martinez a lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie and run on base but because of the power you want him to tie up the game with one swing here the pitch that's off the mark one and oh all one no strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. Two and out. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. And the pitch. And JD gets a piece now. Two and two. and misses struck him out slider got him for strike three a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this when you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this so a strikeout really puts them on their heels and next for the Mets Brett Beatty and that's in for a strike Missing inside. Holding on to a one run lead here at the bottom of the seven. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Makes the catch for the second out. Nothing you can do about those as a hitter. Even though you know that, they still drive you absolutely crazy. So now here's the Mets DH, Joey Wendell. First pitch misses. Wouldn't chase that time. And another ball. Jeff McNeil up next for the Mets. The pitch. That just no, missed. He walked him break. on four pitches. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first no, base man. is going to have a very it's aggressive like a secondary man. lead. So, yeah. ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Pitching change here, Dylan Lee. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the bump. Jeff McNeil stands in. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Lee he's checks safe. over to first, and he's back. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Wendell off of first with two away. 
And there he goes. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Well, try to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Adam Adovino. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Well, one we run game. Ozzie Albies getting ready to Ozzie. hit. Known for Ozzie. his late inning heroics. And the pitch. Ball oh. one there. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. One and one. That oh. one in the dirt. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. A massive home run. Third home run of the season. It's 2 nothing. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient and it paid off. Next for Atlanta, Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Hey. And there's a breaking ball that drops Four in there. One. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in, and we're in the top of the eighth. Base hit. All over that one right there. Yeah, Off the bat, bad. that one the registered at 105 miles man. per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. If you can drive a ball like that, more often than not, you're picking up a knock. Here is Matt Olson. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. And that one is inside ball one. That pitch just misses the inside corner. Two and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. This to center field. Stewart makes his way towards it. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one down. Now Now it's the DH. Marcelo Zuna. Three strikeouts already. He's 0 for 3. Strike of the outside corner. And it's 0 and 1. Swings through that one for strike two. Oh, ball, two strike. Let's go, New York. Here's the O two. 
swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Orlando Arcia next up for the Braves. He's already homered in this game. You have to be careful throwing him breaking pitches, even in an 0-0 count. He loves going after the off-speed stuff, and he's really good at hitting it. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's back. And that one hops the wall. Around third. He'll score, and they're up by three. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. New arm out of the bullpen, Reed Garrett. Well, he's got electric stuff coming out of the pen. His strikeout rate, though, is through the roof so far this season. Man at second here with two away. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. One for three. Eight. On the outside corner, strike one. All one's the count. Come on, Man on second, two down. That's the third, Baden gathers oh. and throws to first that ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand so two runs on three hits including the home run no errors and one left on base last half of the eighth coming up it's the Braves three and the Mets nine. and we're back onto the bottom of the eighth and stepping in for New York Jeff McNeil And here it comes. Yeah. The Braves bullpen has some activity. Rysel Iglesias getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Lopez, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. The pitch. High fly ball, right field. Acuna has it sized up. One away. Now batting. Catcher, come Tomas Nito up now for the Mets. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Oh, Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. On the ground to third. Riley fires the first. Two away. Couple of pitches and a quick the out. Baseman, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Aaron Bummer taking over on the mound. He last pitched two days ago. Back to the top of the Mets order. Brandon Nimmo, the next to hit. The other thing about an elite defensive first baseman like him, it, it just instills a ton of confidence in those guys playing third and short that have to make those long, tough throws at times. And he just handles them so well. So he really makes the entire infield better with his glove. Kicks and fires. And it's even up. You're not just talking about the ability to pick, Chris. One of the things about him, the range is impressive as he's able to go to his right and get to those balls in the hole. Two down, nobody on. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And that's down and away. On the ground the first, and it goes just foul. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. Cut on and miss, struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Mets go down quickly. They trail in this one, 3-0.
Back here in Queens, we go to the ninth. Stepping in, Adam Duvall. And a pitch. And a foul ball, third base side. Here's your one. And it's fouled away. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Right handed reliever. That one, one missed. Two strike. On the ground, out to short. Sends it across the first, and the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Up next for Atlanta, the catcher, Chadwick. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Chadwick Trump. to hit. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Now batting right fielder. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base yes but also some power. Swings. Fouls it off and he breaks his bat. On the ground to third, and that chance handled over to McNeil. On the first, double play, and that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Two, three, four, set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Braves three, and the Mets nothing. So the closer summoned from the bullpen, Rysel Iglesias. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. Starling Marte up now for the Mets. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. In for a strike, going one. Swings and misses. Slider got him for strike three. Well, the first batter, it's now always batter. a big one That's for the closer. Zone. I mean, you get that Red punch Cisco. out, you get settled in, Lynn you feel Cole. like you're in command out there on the mound from the jump, and kind of prevents any doubt from creeping into your mind or the fielders that are playing behind you that, you know, you're going to wrap this thing up. And that one fouled off. The shortstop takes a ball. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. And there's a ball. That's out to center field. Harris pulls it down and there's two gone. Now batting. The center fielder. DJ. So last chance for the Mets. DJ Stewart. Stewart now at the plate. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Around first heading for two. And he's in there standing up with a two out double. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. First pitch fastball, a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. So, man aboard, and here is J.D. Martinez. First pitch, and he just misses. There's a strike, 95 of that one. They're down to their final strike. One ball, two strikes. Iglesias is just one strike away. Man at second. And that's outside. And that's ball two. And delivers outside. Two outs and one in scoring position. And a pitch. Hard ground ball based now. Coming home. Fires it to the plate. Safe. Nice at bat right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. Made him really work out there on the mound. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Inside just missed. Tying run at the plate. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Pitch misses, and that's ball three. With the tying run at the plate, here the last half of inning number nine. Right through there for a strike. I got three and two. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Braves claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. Well, not all saves come easy, but he didn't let things unravel. Good win for the team today. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.